little things were going on. But then I started applying for one week of each school holidays as holidays and continually, continually being knocked back. But police to ask for a week of each school holidays off is not unreasonable. Police get nine weeks leave. And I knew what was going on and I knew it was just discrimination and bullying, but there wasn't much I could do about it. Till one day one of the junior members came to me and he said, why don't you ever put him for the school holidays? And I said, well, I do, but I keep getting knocked back. And he said, yeah, that's what I thought. But a funny thing happened to me last night. One of the sergeants rang me at home and he said, you haven't put in for your next lot of leave. When would you like it? And this member said, I don't mind. And he said, would you like the school holidays? And this member said, only if nobody else wants it. And the sergeant said to him, well, there's members that want it, but we don't want them to have it, so we have to fill it up. Would you like it? So he said yes. But as soon as he put down the phone, he knew the sergeant was talking about me. So he couldn't wait to get into work to tell me the next morning. So I made the second biggest mistake of my career and decided I had to do something about this. So I put in what was called a grievance report, which is a strictly confidential report that goes straight to the superintendent if you believe you're being bullied or discriminated against. I put it in at three o'clock when I finished work that day and I came back to work the next day at 11 p.m. for night shift. The minute I walked into the station, I knew that my strictly confidential report was anything but. The whole station knew about it. And they all had all been told to take sides. They were with me or they were with the sergeants. I went to my correspondence locker, opened it up, and out fell all the toilet paper, which in police terms means you were giving somebody the shits. The other 